Hi guys, it's Dawn here, also known as Judo. Today I'm going to be opening an awesome Final Fantasy booster pack. Oh, I'm so hyped. So I got a pair of scissors so I can open them nice and cleanly for you. Don't know if you guys have been playing the Final Fantasy trading card game, but I actually really like it. Open it nice and slowly, just make sure I don't cut the cards in half. Voila! So I'll show you them and then I'll go through them a little slowly. Ooh. Ah, oh, Delita! He's one of my favorite characters in the series. Aw, oh, cute. Ooh, some pretty good pulls actually. Let's see. So we've got Canny Senna. If you control card name Rail or Senna, Canny Senna gains plus two thousand. Pretty good. Marauder. When Marauder attacks, Marauder gains plus eight thousand power until the end of the turn. Not bad, not bad, eh? For a uh, two. Ezel. When your opponent casts a summon, activate all the forwards you control. So cute. I absolutely love the numos and the Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, Final Fantasy Tactics is so damn underrated. I'm glad they included it in the cards. Just because the, the will and the wish for another Final Fantasy Tactics game has definitely been there. And this is Delita, who is sort of the main antagonist of Final Fantasy Tactics, the first one. And he's so damn good. Like, he's actually, like, it's such a good story and he's such a good character in it. When Delita enters the field, choose one forward your opponent controls. You may put one of your forwards of the same cost other, other than Delita into the break zone. If you do, break the chosen forward. When Delita is chosen by summon or abilities, Delita gains plus 1000 power until the end of the turn. That's pretty handy if you can just, like, break your opponent's stuff very easily. Then our rare is Usher. When Usher enters the field, you may search for one card named DGS Trooper First Class or card named Deep Ground Soldier and add it to your hand. It's not going to be very handy for my deck personally, but it's still a nice card. Very nice. And a very cool rare. Thief. When Thief leaves the field, your opponent puts the top card of his or her deck into the break zone. Pretty decent, and it's the Final Fantasy Tactics concept art for Thief. Moogle from Fear to Rhythm. I haven't actually played Fear to Rhythm, but I'd probably enjoy it because I like rhythm games. I like Final Fantasy. So technically I'm like the target market for it, and I haven't actually played it. So that just shows you how much of a success that game was. Uh, it's definitely not been as successful in the West as it was in the East, but it does look good. Put Moogle Fear to Rhythm into the break zone and draw one card. Hmm. Could be pretty handy to keep your... Keep drawing, you know. If you need an emergency out, but I'm not sure how strong it is. Bard. Put Bard into the break zone. Your opponent discards two cards from his or her hand. You can only use this ability during your turn. Hmm. Put Black Mage into the break zone. Choose one dull forward. Deal it 4,000 damage. These seem to be kind of cards that pretty much depends on your deck. Black Mage. Choose one forward. It cannot become dull by your opponent's summons or abilities this turn. Oh, so cute the art though. Oh, I love Final Fantasy 3. It's so good. Uh, we got a regular Usher, so we can start building our Usher deck now with two of them. And Shiva EX. EX Burst. Choose one dull forward, deal it 6,000 damage and 1,000 more damage for each card named Shiva in your break zone. So Shiva's actually probably pretty decent. Because dealing 6,000 damage is quite good, you know, pretty good. So I'm really happy with that pack. If you've been playing the TCG, give me a like and a comment. And let me know what your favourite kind of deck is. Lots of love, guys. Bye.